1971, he and Barbara Cook ended their five-year marriage. That same year, he released his major label debut on United Artists and a song inspired by a conversation about another broken romance. He was the sky cow at the airport. He saw me, he came running, oh, Bobby, my old lady man, she left me for another man. So I said, I was mad at that time. I said, why don't you leave the bitch? He said, what? He said, Bobby, she ain't no bitch. That's my woman. I love her, man. I got on the plane. I wrote the song. With a string of hits under his belt, Bobby Womack's career was in overdrive. In 1972, he got a visit from songwriter Jim Ford, who had written a country-flavored tune about an easygoing guy named Harry Hippie. Harry Hippie lies asleep. And I just say, man, sing that to the country and western singers. Man, I said, ain't it. You got to slow it down. He said, oh, you gonna put that R&B on it. I say, I bet you one thing, it'll be an R&B smash. Drinking that good gin and liquor, snorting that good cocaine. By the late 1970s, Bobby Womack's life was a shambles. Distraught from the loss of his brother and his young child, he'd been dropped by three major labels in a row, and his career seemed all but over. But if I ever get my hands on a dollar again, I find out nobody wants you. Nobody wants you when you die. But in 1981, Bobby got a record deal with the small Beverly Glen label. While working in the studio one day, he overheard his pianist, Patrick Moten, arguing on the phone with his wife. She said, listen, Patrick, we are supposed to be going to see a movie tonight. So it made Patrick mad. He said, I'm going to tell you something. If you think you're lonely now, he said, wait until the night, bam, and hung up the phone. I said, what did you say? 